Hey y'all, I've got another frittata for y'all today. And if you've been with Paleo U for a while, you should be pretty familiar with this technique. We'll mix things up just a little bit today. You'll cook the veggies in a separate pan from the final frittata. We're doing this for two reasons. One, it's just another way to do it. We like to learn every way we can. And two, doing it this way will minimize the eggs sticking to the pan. We often cook the frittata in the same pan that we cook the veggies, so it's one less thing to clean up. But that can mean that the final frittata sticks a little bit. By showing you both ways of making a frittata, you get to decide what works best for you. Using one pan and having a slightly stickier frittata, or using more pans, not having a sticky frittata, but having more to clean up. Either way, it'll taste great. Enough of that, let's get cooking. First, turn the broiler on and heat a little oil in a tall walled pan over a medium low flame. Next, add the onions and cook for 10 minutes. Then add the tomatoes with a pinch or two of salt and cook for another 10 minutes. When the onions and tomatoes are cooked, add the spinach and cook for about two minutes, then turn off the heat. In an oven proof skillet, begin heating some oil over a medium low flame. You want enough oil to coat the bottom and sides of that pan. While the oil is heating up, add the veggies to the eggs with some salt and pepper, then mix everything together. When the oil is hot in the pan, roll it around so that the sides are coated. Add the egg mixture and cook for eight to 10 minutes or until the eggs are mostly set. You still want them a little jiggly in the middle. Move the pan to the broiler and cook for one to three minutes or until the eggs are fully set. You're gonna watch it closely under the broiler to make sure the eggs don't burn. Once the eggs are done cooking, take the pan out of the oven and let it cool for a few minutes. Then cut the frittata into slices, place one on a plate, grab a fork, and dig in. 